Hello guys, Dingo here and welcome to the greatest video we've ever put together with the most iconic and potentially dangerous species of family of snakes in the world. That's right, today it's all about the mighty mambas. I'm going to be showing you six, that's right, six different species in this family of snakes. The family of snakes that is notorious around the world. You say mamba, I don't care if you're in Australia, South America, North America, Asia, Europe, or in Africa, everybody's that the hairs in the back of your neck prick up. We all know what mamba means, and I'm going to show you all six different species of them and subspecies of them. And I'm going to start off with which ones are the easiest to handle and work our way up to the most notorious snake on the planet. And our first mamba is this magnificent snake here, the Eastern Green Mamba, here from KwaZulu Natal in South Africa. And as I said, we're starting off with what is the easiest to handle. The Eastern Green Mambas are probably the re most relaxed Mamba species. If I look here, coming at my glove, right close to my hand. That's almost within strike range. The Eastern Green Mambas are beautiful snakes. They have this magnificent green coloration. Look on the top of the body, some blue scales there. Just need to watch something here. It's a little bit too close to the arm. But they chilled out snakes. They're not flashing mouth, not trying to bite. And they really were one of the first mamba species I ever got to keep and the one I fell in love with, that, that distinct coffin-shaped head. How's I look at that? But it's very few people in Africa. The people bitten by these snakes are normally either your snake keepers or people who are picking fruit. You're picking mangoes, bananas, macadamia nuts. Those guys, they're going to get bitten. They don't see the snake. Look at that. Isn't it a beautiful snake? And you can see, super chilled out. Look how relaxed it is. Incredibly deadly can kill you within about two hours a bite from the snake. Potent neurotoxic venom. All the mambas got a super potent, fast acting neurotoxic venom. But these guys here, they are an incredibly special mamba species. And one of my favorites, I'm going to say that probably six times today. One of my favorite species of snakes on the whole planet, the Eastern Green Mamba. Right, our second mamba. And this is actually not a described species of mamba, but it ought to be. These here are known as Dendroaspis intermedius. It's a mamba that a doctor here in South Africa, right off the hook stick, almost on Kirsty's feet. Let me just get this snake here. Here we go. Isn't it an absolutely beautiful little snake? Now, and according to the textbooks, this is actually the same species as that mamba we brought out just now, the Eastern Green Mamba, but about four years ago, scientists were working at classifying this in its own family of mambas, and unfortunately, one of the scientists doing it ended up passing away, so it hasn't been classified yet, but it's a completely different snake. You can see, even though this is a baby, it's a far more yellowy color, and when it gets older, it gets more and more yellow compared to our Eastern Green Mambas. You can see he's had a little little child there a little bit of tucker yesterday isn't he beautiful and the most interesting thing about these snakes so they found north of south africa tanzania those kind of places a little bit in zimbabwe and uh, these snakes have the least toxic venom of any of the mambas isn't that incredible about half as toxic as our east african green mamba so if there's a east african or a green mamba you want to get bitten by it's probably this guy over here but they do seem a little bit faster than our East African Green Mambas. You could see him come off the hook stick just now, but I think he's absolutely beautiful. Let's put him away, and now we're getting into the big guns. All right, and our third Mamba, here we go, the Yellowtail Jamison Mamba. These guys come from Central Africa. It's a completely different snake, and this snake, a baby snake. Look at this. This is the one that actually tagged Lance, one of our staff members, a few weeks back. Um, and it's in the blue, so it's looking really ugly, looking like ugly mongrel at the moment. But look how dark blue those eyes are, or opaque those eyes are. And that's because it's about to shed its skin. These snakes, though, completely different to the other green mambas you've seen today. Far faster, yeah? This snake can hardly see now. Look at its temperament. It will bite first, ask questions later. Um, a very athletic snake, and once it sheds its skin and grows, magnificent yellow coloration in the tail. Bright, bright yellow in the tail. I have to be super careful with this snake. It's okay. Look how it's facing up to me. All the others just climbing. This one facing up, it can hardly see anything. If he could see more now, he'd be very, very dangerous. And we've actually got footage previously of me working with some of our other Jamison Mambas, our yellow-tailed Jamison Mambas, and they're just biting the glove over and over and over again. Absolutely spectacular snakes. Get big as well. And they're really fast. Let me try. Look at that gaping. Look at the gaping there. 
you can see a little bit of the personality of this baby snake captive bred snake been brought up in captivity but look at it fasty fasty little guy isn't it a magnificent snake might even bite me on the glove now i hope not here we go let's put down the yellowtail jamison mamba and let's start bringing out the biggest snakes all right, our next species of mamba is actually also a Jamison mamba. It's a subspecies, a black-tailed Jamison mamba. And as you can see, look here, it's sitting right up in the lid of this container. It's a super dangerous snake, this snake. This one now I'm going to open up out of the container so you can see. And it's got quite a personality on it. It is rapid. I mean super, super fast. The video only starts now. Here's the snake. Look at that beautiful black tail let's just as it's sitting still here look at the black tail now this snake unfortunately has one or two little scars on it from when it was injured way before it came to me but i just want to see these snakes you have to be careful you can see how slender he is he's very very fast i have to move very slowly with him uh -uh, uh -uh. beautiful coloration at the back of his neck there the yellow coloration I'll just move this up the way it might freak him out a bit here we go guys the black tail jamison mamba have a look at his tail here you can also whoop, 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 whoop. slow down buddy slow down so he's come in a bit battered and bruised he only came in quite recently he's got a bump on his nose that we have to fix up he's got some scars he wasn't in a place where he was looked after particularly well you can see there how quickly he was climbing up be very careful this is an awkward size mamba to work with you can see he's not massive he'll grow to about 2.3 meters or so he's not a massive snake now but he is lightning quick and the smaller the snakes are this size is a tricky size to kind of work with look underneath him look at the yellow coloration underneath that's what makes him so beautiful and so dangerous in terms of personality he, him and the yellow tail jamesons are right up there they is somewhere in between the other green mambas and the black mamba in terms of speed, in terms of uh, their willingness to bite. He wants to bite. Um, but what I absolutely love about them, I'm going to bring a tail close to you here. Look at that tail. Look how it changes from green to black. What a magnificent, magnificent snake. And many people don't know that you get so many different types of mambas, but you actually get some incredible mambas. These guys come up more on the eastern side of africa uganda tanzania those kind of places the black-tailed jamison mamba isn't he beautiful one of the most deadly snakes in the world they've got those beautiful black scales or outline of the scales on the head one of the most beautiful snakes in the world but one of the most dangerous as well an absolute menace in northeastern africa all right our fifth type of mamba over here we call him the wafrican you can see it's getting warmed up already look at that <laughs> Things are about to change. The West African Green Mamba, Dendro Aspis Viridis, from Northwest Africa. We're talking Togo, Benin, countries like this. This right here, I put right up with the Black Mamba in terms of temperament, speed, uh, personality. They tend to be super quick, super quick. It's one of the most dangerous snakes you can keep in the world. So let's see what he's going to do when we release him. We're out in a nice open area. Makes it slightly easier. Hello, my boy. And he's a beautiful snake. Hello, big guy. Look at him go. Now look at the stripes on him. Isn't he magnificent? Now we've got a mom out. Look at him move. He's not scared of me. He's coming right at me. I won't let this guy go through my legs. I don't trust him at all. He's a really quick snake. And what you might or might not be able to see, beautiful yellow coloration in the tail. He's also got a yellow tail. I just have to be careful though. This snake can turn on you and whip up so quickly. Just want to make sure we're right here. Look at this snake. Isn't it a beautiful snake? And they actually come in a wide range of colors. So we've got some. Oh, now I'm in trouble. Hook sticks caught in the wrong way. Oh, and did you see how quickly he came back? So we've got some little yellow babies that we're going to hold back. They can go yellow. Uh, they can also be very, very blue. And hopefully, I've got some blue um, babies coming soon within the next six months or so. But isn't this a magnificently beautiful snake? I mean, look at him. And he's, you can see how active he is. He's a big boy. This is a male, an adult male snake. Just want to see if he'll sit for us for a little bit. No, he's not keen on sitting. He wants to get to the bushes behind me. And he'll bite anything that gets in his way before he gets to the bushes. Really a notorious snake in West Africa. And I don't know what it is about the West African snakes, but there's something about them. West African forest cobras. West African green mambas 
are just on another level in terms of how they move, what they do. Whew. All right, I just have to be very careful when working with this snake. He's unpredictable. Well, he's pretty predictable. He wants to bite me half the time. But look over here, if you come in close now. He's gonna climb, hang on a second. Whew. Look at the, the tail of the snake. I'm gonna hold him here. And look also at the black around every single scale. Isn't it magnificent? He looks like velvet. And you calm down, big guy. And you have to be very careful when working with African elapids, especially your mambas. They can whip up on themselves. So if I didn't have this hook stick here, very easily come up, tag me on the face, tag me on my left hand, very, very, or even in the chest. Now I have to watch him, he's climbing. Reposition hook, reposition hook. And you can see this guy has been with us. He came in when he was young. He had a scar on the back of his head, almost a hole. And we nursed him back to health, I wanna show you. And even though he's been with me for about six years, he is not a tame snake. He doesn't come out like those Eastern green mambas and just sit on the hook stick. He's moving around. I want you to come see his face. He's got one of the most beautiful faces you've ever seen in your life. Look at that. Absolutely stunning, stunning snake. The West African green mamba. When we're talking potency of venom, toxicity of venom, this neurotoxic venom, it'll knock you out really quickly. I mean, under an hour, this snake can kill you. They're really, really potent, right up there close to the black mamba. What a magnificent, magnificent snake. The West African green mamba. And finally, we reach the pinnacle of the mambas throughout the world. The snake whose name, mere, mere reputation, is more notorious than any other venomous snake on the planet. That's right, it's time for the black mamba. Now, I don't have any very psychotic black mambas here now, but whoo, if you've watched any of our videos, you would have seen some coming right at me. I rate the black mamba as the most dangerous snake to handle on the planet. And not by a little bit, by a country mile. They are the quickest snake. They have one of the most fast acting venoms in the world. The fifth most toxic venom, but it is probably the quickest snake acting venom in the world. I've been bitten by one before. I was completely paralyzed within about 12 minutes of the bite, got ventilated, woke up in ICU. It is a quick acting uh, venom. It is a quick moving snake. It has a grumpy temperament. This here though is my boy Kobe. He is the most relaxed black mamba I've ever seen in the world. So we're not gonna get that behavior. Well, hopefully we're not of him trying to bite me in the face. But I just want to show you a little bit of his size, a little bit of how he is. And just remember, this is a completely captive bred, captive raised black mamba. He's chilled out and look at him twitching around. Look how he's twitching around there. Um, I'm just going to ask one of the guys to come behind the camera there. Because I want to show you a little bit of his personality. You see that personality there? Look at that. He's twitching around and this is a very chilled out black mamba. Exceptionally chilled out snake. He's young too. He's only about two years old and look at him. He's all over the place. The reason for that is black mambas are nervous snakes. They are highly strung snakes. So what they're doing, look at him climbing out towards the camera. Flicking, 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 flicking. They, they're unpredictable. And even though he's a chilled out snake, he's never been hurt by us. He's known me since he was almost hatched. He is still not a snake you can trust. They are incredibly, as I was saying, nervous snakes, which makes them dangerous. They can be aggressive. I don't believe, some people say, oh, there's no such thing as an aggressive snake. I think you need to go see a psychologist, my mate. There's aggressive uh, sharks, there's aggressive lions, there's aggressive dogs. Um, golden retriever, not an aggressive dog, but you do get certain species of animals that are more aggressive than others. It's not a, it's not a bad thing that there is aggression out there, but uh, some black mambas, are some of the scariest animals I've ever worked with in my life. I've been chased by them, flat out chased. Um, unprovoked attack, if you want to call it that. Some black mamas have chased me for 15 minutes at a time, absolutely going off their minds. So you have to be very, very careful when working with these snakes, when interacting with them. And even though this here is a captive black mamba, I am more on my toes. My chutney tunnel is tighter now than with any of the other five mambas we've had out. You saw that West African green mamba coming out, moving around, actually went for me once or twice. Kobe here is more dangerous than five of those West. Look at that. I'm your friend. Ah, uh -uh, no. You see what he's doing there? And I have to watch now. He's sitting on that hook stick, but I just have to put more tension on him so he can't come down at me. It's very, look how the hook stick's positioned. If he comes over the top of that hook stick, body cut, that loop comes out of the top of that hook, which can happen. 
he's completely free on here and we're talking a snake that can move so quickly he'll hit me in the face before anyone sees i'm highly highly allergic to all your mambas so a snake like this would kill an adult human being in as little as 20 minutes kill me within about a minute what a magnificent snake come in there closer to the camera so you can see him if you can just move over there with the cap so that we might look, there we go look at him highly strong and i can't overemphasize. look at the tongue flick that is the tongue flick of all mambas they put it out like they'd hold it out i cannot emphasize more how relaxed he's getting ready for a, a, a strike now how relaxed this black mamba is to almost any other mamba i've ever worked with he is such a chilled out mamba and he's young still you can see his size i mean he's got some rats sitting in there from yesterday have a go at how you'll move let me just unwrap him he's on my hand there just want to put him over here on the grass you can see some of the speed he won't be going full tilt at all but look at it. head up do you see all the flicks all the movement and this here captive bred black mamba he's absolutely magnificent hello my boy are you okay today look at it looking up are you a danger to me you know me and that's the problem with black mambas is this guy here i know him he knows me he has never been hurt before every interaction we have with kobe is quite relaxed um he's not in the blue now i mean he's getting towards there but look how big he's got isn't that incredible a two-year-old snake the second longest venomous snake on the planet there he comes there he comes second longest venomous snake on the planet after the king cobra reaches a maximum of four and a half meters <laughs> isn't he a beautiful beautiful snake and to end off this video what we're going to do is i'm going to show you a little montage of some of my interactions with wild black mambas out there just to give you a proper idea of how magnificent these snakes are but is there any family of snakes in the world that are as mesmerizing as terrifying as the family of mambas i hope you've learned something today knowing that there's more than one or two species of mambas out there i love every single one at our future facility we're going to have all six of these on display as big beautiful adult snakes right through from the black mamba all the way down to our kwazulu natal eastern green mambas who doesn't love a mamba put your comments down below which is your favorite species of mamba and would you ever like to join me here in africa on our volunteer program and work with some of these magnificent snakes thanks for joining us we'll see you next time dingo out